Okay, now we're going to take a look at comparator circuits. Now, a comparator is a mix signal device whose digital output is either high or low, depending on the relative amplitudes of two analog inputs. So let's take this circuit for example. Here we have an open loop. There's no feedback in this circuit. An open loop op amp circuit shown here. And it functions as a comparator. Now the absence of feedback, as I mentioned, the op amp is driven into one of two saturations modes by the analog inputs VP and VN. Now specifically, if VP is greater than VN, then the op amp is in positive saturation. And that is our output is VO is equal to plus VCC, our power supply, our positive power supply. So if this VP is greater than this VN, then our output is plus VCC. We also call this, in our example, a digital one or our high state. We also call our output VOH for high. Now, on the other hand, if VP is less than VN, then it's at negative saturation, and then it rails, our output rails to the minus VCC power supply. And this is a digital zero, or our low, or VOL, our low end. Okay? So that's how a comparator works. It either rails to the positive VCC or to the minus VCC. Again, in digital logic terminology, the comparator output is said to be high, which is a 1, when VP is greater than VN. And low, which is a digital 0, when VP is less than VN. Now the output voltage levels associated with the high and low states are usually denoted as I mentioned before VOH or VOL which are respectively the high and low states. Now these levels are determined by the positive and negative power supply voltages which can be different from the plus or minus 15 volts commonly used in linear applications of op amps. Now let's look at this example. Here we have this circuit and we have V1 going into the non-inverting input and V2 here going to the inverting input. So let's do some examples. So let's say V1 is equal to 2 volts and V2 is equal to 3 volts. So since V2 is greater than V1 or Vp less than Vn, we say it goes into the zero saturation state or the negative saturation state I'm sorry and in this case since the negative rail is zero volts our output voltage is uh, zero volts now let's take a look at V1 equals zero and V2 is equal to negative 3. So since that's the case, we have this greater than V1 greater than V2, which goes to the positive rail, or VO is plus VCC. All right. And finally, when V1 is equal to negative 2 volts and V2 is negative 3 volts. So since V1 is greater than V2, then it VO goes to the positive VCC state. Alright? So that's our answer. So whatever VCC is, that's what the output is going to be. So if it's 10 volts, then the output voltage will be 10 volts. If it's 3 volts, then the, if VCC is 3 volts, then VO will be 3 volts. We see here that it's grounded, so if this is instead of 0 to be negative VCC, then
the first case here is that's the case instead of zero volts it will be just minus VCC. Hopefully that example clears up the, some of the functions of what a comparator circuit does. So let's look at another example of how a comparator circuit is used. So let's say we ground our inverting to uh, ground and VST is connected to the non-inverting input. So VS, let's say this is our VS that's V S of T so that's our input this is called a zero crossing detector it's also called the polarity detector and we'll see why okay so whenever this crosses zero it toggles between the other state so in this case it goes either to plus VCC and then when it switches polarity from plus to minus it goes to minus VCC now when it goes to polarity of minus to plus then it switches to positive VCC and we saw here that when the VP is greater than VN so whenever it's greater than, in this case we're comparing it with zero, hence the name zero crossing to zero. So whenever it's positive, it rails to the positive VCC. And when if it goes negative, below zero, then it goes and rails to the minus VCCN. So every time this input signal crosses zero, the output toggles from one state to the other states and we know that the output of the comparator is one of two states a plus VCC or a minus VCC in the previous video we talked about uh, the zero crossing detector or earlier we talked about the zero crossing detector in which the V reference was zero here now we're gonna take a look at uh, instead of zero we're gonna compare it to a uh, voltage reference points of shown here so instead of this comparing it with zero, we compare it with V reference. And that's shown right here. So every time we compare it with V reference, it either goes from a high state to a low state or a low state to a high state. So whenever this sinusoidal input shown here is greater than the V reference, it's going to stay at a high state. So here it's above V reference, so it's at high state. In this portion, it's at below the V reference so it stays at a low state here it's a high, high above the V reference so it's at high state below the reference voltage at the low state above the reference it stays at a high state and below the reference it stays at a low state so it, again the comparator output either rails to plus VCC or minus VCC and the only thing we change here from the previous one is the V reference it's no longer uh, comparing with, with zero, but we're comparing with, with V reference. So that concludes this application of a zero crossing detector using comparators.